Lata Mangeshkar, the legendary singer of the subcontinent, died at the age of 92. The Department of Health has started vaccination program in Kaumi Madrasas. Commerce Ministry trying to recover the money lost in the e-commerce business. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news and finance screen within the newsroom today watching headlines. Now the details. Lata Mangeshkar, the legendary Indian singer with a profile groundbreaking catalogue and a voice recognized by the billion people in the South Asia, has died at the age of 92. The singer died of multi-organ failure after more than 28 days of hospitalization post-COVID-19. Bridge Candy Hospital in Mumbai, her doctor Pratit Samdani told reporters on Sunday. She was hospitalized on January 11 after contracting COVID-19. India declared two days of national mourning with a public broadcaster Durdashan announcing that Mangeshkar will be given a state funeral and that the country flag will fly as a half staff. Mangeshkar began her career in 1942 at the age of 13 in a career spanning over a seven decades. Mangeshkar sang more than 30,000 songs in 36 languages. She was awarded the Bharat Ratna, Indian highest civilian honor in 2001. The government of France conferred on her its highest civilian award, Officer de la Lisienne the honor in 2007. The Department of Health has started a vaccination program in Kaumi Madrasas of the country from today. Department of Health has said that 12 to 18 years old Kaumi students will be vaccinated in the same way as the school children have been vaccinated. 164 madrasas in six sections have been initially selected as a vaccination center. Additional Director General of the Health Department, Mirzadi Sabrina Flora, inaugurated the program at Zamia Kaumi Madrasa in Mirpur. On the first day, 800 students are being vaccinated in two centers. The students have expressed relief after getting the corona vaccine. Road Transport and Bridge Minister Badal Kadir said that the government is going to start feasibility study with the help of Korea for launching planned transport system and metro rail in Chittagong. He made the remarks after meeting a delegation later by South Korean Ambassador to Bangladesh, Li Jin Kong, in the Secretariat this morning. The Bridge Minister said an integrated transport plan for Chittagong City would be prepared under the project. Besides feasibility, a study of mass transit line or metro rail would also be done. Commerce Minister Tipu Munshi said the Commerce Ministry was trying to recover the money lost by those who had invested in the e-commerce business. He also said that a meeting is being held with the Law Ministry to resolve the illegal issue in this regard. He said this while addressing a meeting on overall review of digital commerce business at the Secretariat and the inaugural function of UBI, the apps for online registration for conducting e-commerce business. State Minister for Information and Technology, Junaid Ahmed Paulo, said that the Ministry of ICT would provide technology support for digitalization of e-commerce marketing and the Ministry of Commerce would look into the legal issues. Voting for the seventh phase of the Union Porsche election will take place tomorrow. In this phase, voting will uh, take place in 138 unions. Today, election equipment is being delivered to various centers. With the seventh round of voting, the UP election will uh, come to an end. After that, the Election Commission has informed that the voting will be held separately in the UP suitable for election. Six out of six steps of UP election have already been completed. The fifth phase election was held held in 5th January. The 6th phase election was held 31st January. 
Minister for Local Government, Rural Development and Cooperative, he has instructed those concerned to remove water logging in Dhaka and Chittagong and free the canal from occupation. Tazul Islam. He gave the directive after a meeting with the Mayor of Dhaka North and South City Corporation and the Mayor of Chittagong City Corporation at the Secretary in the morning. The LGR Minister also called upon all to work sincerely to ensure the welfare of the city dwellers. We are about to the end the headlines once again. Lata Mangeshkar, the legendary singer of the subcontinent, died at the age of 92. The Department of Health has started a vaccination program in Kami Madhusas. Commerce Ministry trying to recover the money lost in the e-commerce business. The dead body of the five years old boat trapped in a wall in Morocco has been recovered. Bayern Munich beat Leipzig with a suicide call in the thrilling fight in Bundesliga. Thanks for being with us to join with my TV news online is YouTube slash my TV news to watch all our programs is YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next voting will be telecast 7:30 pm. Stay connected and Allah Hafiz.